So, presiding officer, can I take this opportunity to move the amendment in my name? And, presiding officer, can I just say one thing to start with? On the 1st of April, many people might find that the irony in this. Douglas Ross was in the great town of Paisley, where he was there for one of his many jobs, uh, the one of being a football referee. It was an important game between St Murdoch and Livingston. Mr Ross had a terrible game as he missed a stonewall penalty in the first four minutes, but luckily that was corrected by VAR. <laughs> but this is a relevant and interesting point, presiding officer. There was a crowd. There was a crowd of 5,894 people attending. Many contemplated that may or may not be the membership of the Scottish Tory party. But that's the reason. We will never know, presiding officer, because the Conservatives won't publish, won't be transparent, and they won't practice what they're trying to preach here. The absolute hypocrisy. No, we've heard enough from you, Mr Ross. The absolute hypocrisy. The absolute hypocrisy from the Conservatives is almost laughable. Presiding officer, you have to admire someone who has that level of brass neck, who need to complain about a lack of party transparency when you lead the Scottish Conservative Party. Mr Ross's political party that illegally prorogued the UK Parliament and avoid debate and scrutiny, the party of a Prime Minister that would only agree to speak to the Scottish press if he could handpick the media and he could actually handpick the questions. The party that packs the House of Lords with donors like Scotland Office Minister Lord Offord, who, after being appointed for life in the House of Lords and given a place in the government payroll, had given the Tories £150,000. And the Tories come to us here in the Scottish Parliament and they talk about our integrity. The, this party, the Conservatives, have received, received hundreds of thousands from unincorporated associations that do not reveal their origin of funding and they have questioned the integrity of others. You just cannot take the Tories seriously on this issue. A party that refused to see how many members it has while criticising those that do. There is a word, there is a word for this, uh, presiding officer, and a word for that person, and it is a hypocrite.